Hey guys, selling my 1988-966 uh, AM General Humvee. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video today. I uh, figured this was another platform that I could reach uh, a few more people other than uh, eBay and Craigslist and all that stuff. Um, just to kind of go over things, uh, it's still got the uh, uh, all the original stuff on it uh, from the Army. Uh, it's still got the plates right there, the bright lights. I did some... Did some spraying around just to kind of take care of some things uh, as you can see uh you know it's got some things that need to be uh you know fixed by the right guy but um you know it's a it's fairly clean on the inside still got the original thing uh, but i wanted to do a video because some guys are hesitant about buying these and uh oh, i know why now because i mean they take a lot of money and a lot of work to get them going um but here, let me go ahead and start this up. So I've done a lot of work to this. I've replaced the glow plugs, the injectors, injector seals. Uh, you name it, it's been done. New alternator, grounding harness, uh, you know, whatnot. But yeah, as you can see, the weight light went off. She'll fire right up. Uh, it's probably a little loud. I don't know if you can even hear me right now. But um, so here is everything right now. So as you can see with the voltage meter, um, flickers in the beginning it's just a grounding issue that I'm working on like I said I got the grounding harness uh, I turned the voltage down uh, usually I have it about 20 ages to charge the batteries but um, within about a minute um, you know it, it sets itself fine and she's running uh, perfect but um, as you can see the um, you know right here you got to push the button up go over and then um, I'll show you that in a minute but um, the lights all dim right here, yada yada yada. Um, let's see here, and then if you want to, um, yeah, turn signal works. Uh, it is a 6.2, so it is a three speed. So she'll get up to about, I don't know, I'm usually comfortable with about 45, maybe 50. Uh, I've heard guys going a little bit quicker, um, you know, whatever, but I'm just not trying to, I'm not trying to break this. Um, as you can see, everything uh, everything works. Good running truck. Heater's coming on. That's for the LED light kit. I'll show you that in a minute. I just gotta gotta wire that in right there. But yeah, as you can see, I mean, it's not a you know, it's not a bad little truck. I just did that because the the soft doors they flap in the wind, and it's kind of a, kind of annoying. Um, that and the um, as you can see, the uh, the zipper broke, so I, I gotta. I'm not gonna replace it. Like I said, that's for the next guy. Um, this is more or less just a fun, fun truck to have. And it's definitely a good conversation piece. But I mean, the roof is all solid and everything. It's just kind of like vinyl material. Um, you know, I haven't had any leaks inside the truck. And you know, I, I have to use some flex seal on this edge because that water would rush in from the bed. But uh, we got that fixed. Oh yeah, like I said, the uh, thing fixed itself right there. As you can see, the air pressure is good. Um, let me go ahead and go around the front. As you can see, the headlights headlights work. Yeah, there's the door that I was talking about. Added some uh, off-road lights here. That right there. Spray the panel. This, that. Uh, these are brand new military tires that I got from uh, CSM Army Supply down there in Alabama. Great guy, Phil. Highly recommend him. Uh, we just did that to kind of offset the tone. So as you can see from farther back, like that. And then uh, we did a rhino line here. Complete rhino line. I mean, it's. I mean, you can run into anything with this truck, and it's uh, it's rock solid. So what I'll do now is I'll show you the uh, little night vision thing. It's pretty cool. So you just take this back, and then uh, you got your uh, blackout thing here. Um, that's for like night vision goggles, and then blackout drive, which I believe is this thing right here. As you can see right there, it just lights up the ground. But uh, I'm going to pop the hood real quick just to kind of show everybody what all's been done to it. And that 
We'll go from there. Like I said, this is a, I mean, they did a really good job on this. I mean, this thing is, I mean, it's rock solid. Great looking truck. Headlights. As you can see, I got the new 60 amp alternator, uh, new, fuel, new fuel filter housing, new rubber hoses, new glow plugs air filter, just redid the uh, timing belt and the alternator belt, and um, we just did this tape around this stuff just to make sure that these were held in place. Um, these are just all like just basic connectors, yada, yada, yada. They're still good. Like I said, the next guy, he can use a black tape or a clear tape or, you know, whatever, replace it. I don't care. But as you can see, everything is, um, you know, good running engine, yada, yada, yada. I haven't seen one of these with a good looking uh, 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 radiator thing, but I mean, this thing is rock solid. The heat comes on right away. Um, we've replaced the uh, air filter. We've done a bunch of coolant flushes. Um, that, I mean, that's, that's, been, that's been key to get all that crap out of here. But, um, but yeah, no, it's a solid looking truck. And um, yeah, I think the next guy would definitely be getting a deal. Um, if they bought this, let me just go ahead and... So yeah, if you're interested, give me a call. Um, based out of, based out of Southwest Ohio. Uh, love to, uh, love to show it to you. If you guys need any more videos, let me know. Um, like I said, it's for sale. And I don't think she's gonna last long. It's it's a great looking truck. It's got an on-road title here in Ohio uh, with plates, so that's pretty rare as well. I know it's uh, it's extremely tough to get that done, but um, like I said, shoot me a message if you're interested, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks again.